Today, what business needs most is creativity. So let's create new possibilities from intelligent automation to cloud management that requires less management. Let's create something that changes everything. IBM, let's create. Learn more at IBM.com. Today, what business needs most is creativity. So let's create AI with integrity, not bias. Cloud management that requires less management. And new ways for business to do business. Let's create at scale right now together. Let's prototype. Let's tweak. Let's test. Let's adapt. Let's create something that changes everything. IBM. Let's create. Learn more at IBM.com. Today, what business needs most is creativity. So let's create AI with integrity, not bias. Cloud management that requires less management. And new ways for business to do business. Let's create at scale right now together. Let's prototype. Let's tweak. Let's test. Let's adapt. Let's create something that changes everything. IBM. Let's create. Learn more at IBM.com. Welcome to BrainStuff, a production of iHeartRadio. Hey, BrainStuff, Lauren Vogelbaum here. If your skin begins turning orange, you may feel like the star of a sci-fi flick, but there's most likely a more down-to-earth explanation. Red, orange, and yellow fruits and vegetables often get their color from a pigment called beta-carotene, which our bodies also happen to use to make vitamin A, which is one of the essential vitamins for human health. That means it's a vitamin that our bodies need in order to function properly, but our bodies can't produce it on their own. We need to eat particular foods to help out. Vitamin A is involved in all sorts of important bodily processes. It's a component in one of the proteins that make our eyes work. It helps our immune system function, and it supports cell growth in organs like the heart, lungs, and kidneys. Lucky for us— Carrots, cantaloupe, apricots, mangoes, oranges, pumpkin, squash, sweet potatoes, and other red-orange foods can be chock-full of beta-carotene. So chock-full, in fact, that when eaten in large amounts, they can sometimes cause people to develop an orange skin tone. What happens here is that eating an excessive amount of foods containing beta-carotene can cause an overabundance of this pigment in the bloodstream, which in turn builds up in the areas of the body with thicker skin— hands, knees, elbows, feet, and the folds around the nose, and produces there a visible orangish hue. This is called keratinemia, and while the condition is more visible on people who have light-colored skin, people of any skin color can be affected. Keratinemia isn't terribly common, even for people who are fruit and vegetable enthusiasts. It's usually the result of a restricted diet that includes large quantities of some specific fruit or vegetable that's high in beta-carotene. There are hundreds of different carotenoid pigments aside from the common beta variant. They're actually named after carrots because the researcher who first identified these molecules was working with carrot juice. Credit for that goes to German pharmacist Heinrich Wilhelm Ferdinand Wackenroder in the 1830s. These pigments are also what's responsible for yellow and orange coloration in cultured butter and cheeses that haven't been dyed. That's because carotenoid pigments also occur in fresh grass. When a cow eats that grass, the pigments wind up in the cow's milk, blocked away in fat molecules that get broken up when the milk is turned into butter or cheese, like cheddar. A large carrot has about 6 milligrams of beta-carotene. These 6 milligrams will convert to about 1,000 micrograms of vitamin A in the human body, which is a little bit more than the recommended daily intake. But even so— With about a 12 to 1 beta-carotene to vitamin A conversion rate, you'd need to eat 120 to 300 carrots per day for several weeks, assuming that that was your only source of the pigment, for it to start showing up in your skin. While orange, yellow, and red fruits and veggies are the primary cause of keratinemia, it can also be caused by foods of other colors— Just as beta-carotene is found in grass, it's also found in cabbage, spinach, kiwi, asparagus, and apples, just to name a few. But as long as you don't overdo it, eating produce that contains beta-carotene is great for you. A study published in the American Journal of Public Health in 2012 reported that eating just two extra portions of fruits and vegetables a day for six weeks caused a detectable change in skin tone in that it produced a healthier glow.
Today's episode is based on the article, It's True, Eating Too Many Carrots Can Turn Your Skin Orange, on HowStuffWorks.com, written by L'Oreal Dove. Brain Stuff is a production of iHeartRadio in partnership with HowStuffWorks.com and is produced by Tyler Klang. For more podcasts from iHeartRadio, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to your favorite shows. Mama, what does the chicken say? Uh, dog. Cat. Giraffe. Giraffe, really? Giraffe. Uh, giraffe. You're not going to get it all right. Just make sure you nail the big stuff, like making sure your kids are buckled correctly in the right seat for their age and size. Get it right. Visit NHTSA.gov slash the right seat. Brought to you by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Look through your children's eyes and you will discover the true magic of a forest. Find a forest near you and start exploring at discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the United States Forest Service and the Ad Council.